Welcome back to Jack's Chats, joined today by Troy Hedinger, sophomore on the men's lacrosse team. Troy, you ready? Let's I walk am and ready. talk. All right, you are a second year member of the lacrosse team. What, what about this year's team stands out to you? Uh, I feel like we have a lot of guys returning this year. You know, we only lost one key member of the offense, Eric Applegate. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of experience coming back, not only the offensive end, but defensive end. We also get a lot of new guys like Colin Hinton's coming in, um, Adam Baker stepping up in goal, giving us a good show. So I think we have a lot of talent coming back and experience. You're a defender. Uh, what about the, what makes you good on the defensive end? Um, I think just being able to kind of know what's going to happen before it actually happens. Uh, that and I think my athletic ability helps me on the defensive end, being able to get from one place to another very quickly. How long have you played lacrosse? Uh, I started lacrosse in sixth grade. Um, I actually started as an offensive player. High school I switched to defense with a pole and then I came to Jacksonville. And I switched up a little bit, playing a little bit of offense, playing a little bit of defense, and okay. then focused more towards the defensive end. So what's it like playing defense with the shorter stick to allow you to kind of be more versatile? Yeah, the shorter stick, it's three feet shorter, so it does give you a little bit of a disadvantage, but I think having more footwork um, plays into that. You know, you have to be able to move quickly and run with these uh, offensive players. You're from Maryland. Everyone kind of knows, maybe tongue-in-cheek, Maryland is lacrosse hotbed. Yeah. What, what was it like where you grew up? Uh, when I, I grew up in a public school, and it was very competitive. Um, but also having those private schools around, like McDonough, uh, Landon, places like that, kind of you know producing those high D1. So it was fun coming out, you know, and you get to play against those top D1 schools, those big names. Mm -hmm. What are you a fan of other sports teams? Are you a Beltway sports fan? Uh, I am a Redskins fan. Sadly, okay. they didn't have a very good year, okay. but um, yeah, I am a Redskins fan. That's. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's about all you can say yeah, about that. Yeah, that's about right? all I can say. Hey, things are looking up. Ron Rivera, you got a yeah. young quarterback. They're talking yeah. about maybe making a Khalil Mack trade. I mean, yeah. hey, uh, things might be getting a little bit better in the nation's capital here. Yeah, they could have been. And with the season we just had, hopefully securing that second spot draft pick, yeah. Chase Young's looking a lot, a lot more promising <laughs> towards the Redskins. All right, look for brighter times soon in, uh, in Redskins land. Yeah. What are you majoring in here at JU? Uh, I'm a sports business major. Okay. What, what do you want to do with that? Do you have any idea? Um, so back home, there's a company called Corrigan Sports, and they kind of run all the tournaments around Maryland, Under Armour All-American, Rumble in Richmond. So kind of getting my uh, foot in the door with that, you know, help with the lacrosse community because it's given me so much. I'm um, putting me in the opportunity or the place I am today. So just giving back to the community that way. So you, you'd like to move back home and kind of reacclimate yourself up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. You all have another challenging schedule ahead of you in lacrosse this year. What do you like about the opportunity to play some of these big programs? Oh, I like how it's really competitive. You know, it's not just blowouts, but we also get to show these top teams you know, what we're really about, how we have the talent to hang with them, stuff like that. What's it take to get over the hump, win that SOCON championship, get to the NCAA tournament? I think preparation and extra work. You know, we talk about in film all the time, knowing our opponents. Um, watching film and them, knowing what their tendencies are, and then putting in the extra hour. We have a slot called Duval hour, you know, just getting those extra reps in, hitting the wall, shooting extra balls after practice, stuff like that. That's awesome. I mean, I hope that you guys are able to get there, win those wins, yeah. get to the NCAA, and represent JU in that way. I hope so too. All right, we're getting ready to come to the end of our walk here today, and well, I always try and wrap up with this one particular question. This campus, it's unique, it's beautiful, it's got so many different aspects to it. What is your favorite spot on this campus? Uh, I would probably say the JLC. Um, just because all the guys are in there all the time, it's always a good time. Um, everyone's in there. You can watch film, you can sit down, take a nap. You got all the possibilities in there. You literally can do anything you want. Yeah. And just one central home, the, yeah. uh, the now La Rock Lacrosse Center, one of the premier institutions here on this campus. Troy Hedinger, thanks man. Thank you.